After four intense weeks of competition, the senior British League Championship teams got together one last time to decide the final standings, including the destination of the coveted Champions Trophy. London Academy were top of the pile heading into the weekend, with their destiny very much in their own hands, but they would face a stern test from second place bats in the first round of fixtures. When Joe Ferguson put the bats in front with this victory over Gabriel Achenpong, the Essex club's hopes were raised that they could put a major dent in their opponent's title aspirations. But London Academy, who had not been beaten so far this season, hit back with a vengeance, winning the next four matches with a barrage of attacking play. And Ferguson may have gone in search of some cricket-style protective gear at the end of this point. Jack Bennett briefly revived bats by winning match six against Achenpong, but Jerry Fung sealed the victory for London. And there was still time for Frederick Nordell to roll out his full repertoire of serves, though some were more successful than others. So a big step towards winning the title for London Academy. Elsewhere in the hall, Peepong picked up just their second victory of the season, defeating Perry Dale 6-2. With London Academy now having one hand on the trophy, attention turned to the runners-up slot and hosts Nottingham pressed their case with a win over Brighton. Joe Sawyer and young prospect Ryan Goodyear put on an entertaining clash and this round the net shot by Sawyer was one of several shots to catch the eye.
Paralympic champion Will Bailey and opponent Owen Brown kept the high quality table tennis coming. And Sawyer cemented a growing reputation for flamboyant shot making as he took on another Paralympic great, Aaron McKibben. McKibben took the match to the wire and this rally at 9 all in the 5th showcases just how well the two players were performing. Despite playing their role in a crowd-pleasing match, there was no scoreboard reward for Brighton as Nottingham completed an 8-0 whitewash. And although Nottingham, Bats and Wyndham all won, the leaders were not to be denied and London Academy's victory over Urban meant they could not be caught at the top. So with the title now sewn up, the remaining questions were who would finish second and could Peepong haul themselves off the bottom of the table? Their match against Bats would go some way to providing answers. There were plenty of different styles on display from the all-out attack of the two Joes, Ferguson and Marler, to the obdurate defence of Paul Cicelli.
the 6-2 scoreline kept Bats in second place, while Peepong remained bottom, a point behind Fusion. Wyndham and Nottingham kept up their challenges. And Brighton Ryan Goodyear showed he may have learned a trick or two from his match against Joe Sawyer the previous day. So to the final round, with London Academy fittingly back on the show table as the champions strive to complete an unbeaten season. Struggler's Fusion had their moments, but were unable to apply any consistent pressure on the academy, who romped to an 8-0 success. So London Academy ended the campaign as worthy champions, with 15 wins and 3 draws from their 18 matches. A last match defeat for Bats at the hands of Urban dropped them down to 4th place, as both Nottingham and Wyndham leapfrogged them in the final table. It was the hosts who ended in 2nd place. Down at the bottom, Peepong were unable to claw themselves away from 10th spot. So that's it for the Senior British League Championship season. Keep an eye on TTE TV and our YouTube channel for more great table tennis action. And we leave you with some of the best bits from the Championship season.
a table tennis player, of course I'm going to go for a behind the back. I'm a table tennis player, of course I push top spin serve at 9 all oh. the way. Table tennis player, of course I do all the hard work and then miss the easy shots. I'm a table tennis player, of course I'm going to die for the points. I'm a table tennis player, of course I've got to look after Reach Davis all day.